people that have taken that brave and twisted it and turned it. <laughs> Do you remember that bones? movie, The Ladybug? Do you remember Ladybug where they're singing it? That soccer movie? Do you remember that movie? No. Oh, well, the, lady, <laughs> the lady's singing it, and she's no. like, <laughs> and the, the Rod Rodney Dangerfield, is that who it is? He's like, the song is over. Can, can, you, can you do that again? Can she's you like, the home of the brave. <laughs> you don't remember that part? Uh, no, I don't I need to remember that. that. I remember this. <laughs> dtmerch.com store and you can see that we have those shirts we're talking about the limited item featured artist shirts but we also have my favorite shirt the black tee with the white logo you can get the logo with color right there you also have jerseys beanies caps we got backpacks and a few other items we sell a lot of shirts these days and other merchandise and i'm happy about that but the thing that really keeps things going around here is your support and mainly through the support of a subscription. Very inexpensive, and you get a lot with that. You get to be part of the shows, and doing a live stream and more, and you get uh, access to the archives, and lot, lot, lots more. And there are many ways to become a subscriber, but one of the ways that I recommend is to use your Amazon account, applying that to our Amazon pay button, pressing send, and sitting back, and just enjoying all that double toasted juice <laughs> coming all around your body. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into another crazy one over here. Fergie! Fergie! Fergie delicious! Bless her heart. Oh, Fergie, boy, I tell you. I told you at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Fergie said, <laughs> Fergie said, there's been many, many a person out there to fuck up the national anthem. Many people have murdered, slaughtered the national anthem, but none of them do it in a Fergie delicious way like I will. <laughs> She went in here and did her own thing with it. Now, before we even go into Fergie and what she did at the national, uh, with the national anthem, uh, let's go and talk about the national anthem and why no, and no one should ever be allowed to sing it again. <laughs> again. Again. It, there was, there, there's one, and I was talking to, I'm going to give Sammy Gonzalez credit for this because we were talking about the national anthem and he brought up, one national anthem that, that after after she after she did it, it was done. Yeah, no that one. Should be, that should be like a basketball jersey. You hang that up, you never touch it again. No, no one ever has come close to one woman who has done the national anthem. I mean, there's been some great ones, but no one does it like pre-crack with. Effortlessly. Stop kneeling. Way. Get up. After that, no one should ever sing the national anthem again. All you're going to do is sully. No one should. And there have been some great renditions of the national anthem after that, but no one should ever be given the chance to go in and mess up the national anthem after Whitney Houston did it. Yeah. If you ask me, they should just make a hologram of Whitney and just have her come out for every, every game. game every Pretty game, much. every event, just have Play her it. sing. <laughs> yeah, just get a hologram. Put that technology to use. Put it on your iPhone. We need pre-crack Whitney forever anyway, man. Sure. Immortalized. <laughs> Pre-crack. <laughs> no, why do you guys keep saying pre-crack? That's, that's what it is. Um, you don't want oh, that. I want to hear Danielle sing. I do too. Episode. Why? What the fuck would you want me oh, to sing it? I know. I know he's going to sing it. Oh, <laughs> can you see it? Hey. My da 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 <laughs> Fergie, what did but, but Fergie? God what did she her. do? Well, she the latest one. Fergie, Fergie can sing, but you know, uh, <laughs> Fergie got hits. Fergie got not, not, got not, not last night. <laughs> she put a hit on that national anthem. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Others, here's here's what Fergie did, and this is Fergie. I guess this is an NBA. Championships, uh, yeah. It's, All Star Weekend in L.A. Yeah, there you go. All Star uh, Weekend in Los Angeles, right there. And Fergie, what she decided to do. See, the thing is, people have 
they've mocked the, the, the national anthem. They've added their own flavor to it with a beat, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some little hip hop to it. Some people mm -hmm. forgot the words and made up their own words. That's the worst. <laughs> they made up their own national anthem. But when Fergie came out, Fergie was actually, out of all these things that have been done with the national anthem, Fergie's the first one to actually want to fuck the national anthem. <laughs> Why'd she go all Steph Curry's right there. He's like, huh? <laughs> She's trying to scoop and scat in the national anthem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got that dude oh, back there with the bass. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. Can you see him? <laughs> yeah. I don't scoot and scat and scoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I mean, right. take it. I, the thing about it, some people do the national anthem, and they, they they fuck it up. And but the thing is, they hear up and they get out of there. But yeah. she gotta take her time. Somebody lying to her. That's what it is. Because <laughs> you know she had to practice this shit. Somebody sit there and lie to this woman and say, you know what, you killing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they just wanted to do something <laughs> but different. But she didn't take it the right way. Who's bright stripes and bright stars? When is turned into a cocktail lounge? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. expecting to see like a, a waiter, a waitress go by with a with a with a with, a, with, a, with some some drinks on a on 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 a platter. You know, <laughs> or a bunch of smoke in front of her. It's yeah, like <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. The, the, all of a sudden, the All Star Game turned to a jazz club. Oh. Got them jazz hands. This is not good, guys. I mean, this is bad. I like she throwing a little bit at everybody. That shit is so fucked up. She's trying to shake it off. Spear fingers. This is not an improv club where you come out and try your comedy. <laughs> Even though this is some great comedy right now. I'm going to try my new material on everybody tonight. Oh, God. No. Not with the national anthem. You don't do that shit. Sing, sing the words and get the hell up out. Oh, oh he's like, him. oh, Jesus. <laughs> Check the fuck out. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Somebody get this bitch out of here. Was that star spangled All these black dudes are like, can we kneel now? <laughs> if, they, if there was ever a time to kneel, can we do it now? Can we do it and just bang our heads on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they even walk out. Oh, you'd be like, now white people would understand this right here, surely. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Rough. yeah. This, this, I mean, is it the worst? Because some people calling this a disgrace. I mean, I've seen worse, but is this one of the most miscalculated things that I've ever seen? Yeah. Burn yeah. I mean, I, 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 yet <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> I love how people are just dealing they're, with they're it. not even they're not even hiding their expressions. They're like, my God. <laughs> Dumbstruck. What the hell? I, like this like there are people, if you're listening, there are people that like on the teams, their mouths are just open. It's like I done sat through many in national anthem. I ain't never heard no shit like this before. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I see they invite the school for the deaf here. <laughs> These brothers are just laughing. They can't even contain themselves. For the land of the free. Is that Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel. Oh Jimmy Kimmel. Now that you do not want to invite Jimmy Kimmel. Oh. To a game where you fucking up the national anthem because he will dive right in. He's oh, smiling yeah. right now. He's like, I got material. He's already. You do not want Jimmy Kimmel around when you fucking up. You know what this is like? This is like uh, that drunk mom that comes out to the teenage party. Yeah. And your drunk mom just starts hitting on all your friends. <laughs> like, you know, and your friend's like, hey, man, tell your mom to sit down before sit I fuck the her. Fuck down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell your mom to sit down before she get this dick right Because <laughs> your mom is fine as fuck and she's drunk right now. And she's on my lap singing the national anthem to me right now. <laughs> you better do something before I do something. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going to be the biggest motherfucker in the room. You don't get her off <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Do those acrobats, uh, those acrobatics at the oh. end. Yeah, just get over, just get through it. It's 
One no. Oh my baby. You know, you just take a look how you do it. That's why I don't sing national anthem, you know. <laughs> really is he going? <laughs> you know, you just take just do that. Just take that one no. You ain't got to. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, people have taken that brave and twisted it and turned it. <laughs> do you remember that movie, The Ladybug? Do you remember The Ladybug where they're singing it? That soccer movie? Do you remember that movie? No. Oh, well, the lady, no, the lady's singing it, and she's no. like, uh, <laughs> and the, the Rod, Rodney Dangerfield, is that who it is? He's like, the song is over. Can, can, you, can you do that again? Can she's like, it? the home of the brave. <laughs> you don't remember that part? Like, I don't need kidding. to remember that. I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> this you singing that note with your neck working and that's the, what she does that little pig face she got you guys know what I'm talking about but Ladybug with Ron, Ron Dangerfield, Rodney Dangerfield the soccer movie yeah he, yeah, he remembers no I, I remember that I do yeah yeah but that's what but that's what happens though. everybody holds on to that brave for dear life yeah. let that shit go <laughs> yeah. let the brave go that brave is like a cat trying to get out your arms <laughs> here's what you messed up you got Fergie Fergie, right? Fer Fergie, y'all know you. You know Fergie was gonna sex this up because Fergie, you, she's horny as. Can't see me. Shit, she made a song about her titties lactating. Milf money. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it sounded like she was going through the alphabet. What the hell was that? She's all. In, she's in this video. Her and her friends all horned up, man. Which ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, you got sex appeal flaunted. Fergie looks amazing. Yeah, she she's 42. Great. Fergie looks amazing, man. I'm not even trying to hate on somebody, you know. I'm not. Fergie's fine as fuck. I got horny listening to her and singing the national anthem. I'm not gonna lie. Well, physically, she's <laughs> always gonna be fit. I mean, that's her angle. But I just don't know if her career is at a point now where but she you, could pull this shit off. You don't get Fergie to go up there, 42 years old, trying to sex up the national anthem. You know, if there's been anything else, Fergie's up there doing some lounge singing things. She's making a lounge record. I don't, you know, I can get with that. Lounge man. record. You, you know. <laughs> And you say I can get with that? The no, you can't. Anthem, nah, B. I'm not, I'm not gonna first, buy this shit. You know, the national anthem is your first single off your. <laughs> <bad album. laughs> I think so. It's like Frankie sings the greatest lounge hits, the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just yeah. Some people, are, I got your back. Whatever you want to do, but some people are just not meant to sing the national anthem. Was did she just come cheap that day? I think Could it you was not a mixture. Anybody else? I think it was a mixture of what Oz is saying. The four they put a lot of money behind the marketing for the four, a lot of media you, and public relations money for the four, and then I think Fergie was just inexpensive. I think that maybe Fergie she, was cheap and. Kind of relevant. Somebody's 14-year-old niece can sing this better oh, than Fergie. Yeah, I could have sang it better. Listen, yeah. I, I'm just waiting for when they get DJ Khaled out there to do it. <laughs> and his cute little son. <laughs> oh, say, can you see DJ Khaled? We the one. best music. <laughs> <laughs> Another D one. D DJ Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Salad. <laughs> nah, man. You know, just it, it, it's a national anthem. I'm not overly patriotic myself, but you know, there's it, it's it's sitting up there performing in front of a lot of people. And a lot of people do take it seriously. And you need to get the person to do the job. And that's why that's why I'm baffled why there's so many <laughs> national anthem videos and recordings where people cannot do the job. There have been people who have hired. This baffles me every time. Why do you get? people to sing the national anthem who are not singers. Like who? <laughs> well, for one, like athletes. You remember Carl Lewis? Mm -mm. Mm. Uh, Olympic gold medal uh, runner? Nope. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It might be a good thing. That means you've never heard of his version uh, of the national anthem. Is it worse than your, first? your ears have been safe all this time. <laughs> people, listen, give Fergie some hell. Just teach her an artistic lesson. But don't be too hard on her. There's much worse out there. At least she held notes. She bent them and twisted them a little bit, but she held notes. Uh, Carl Lewis, I believe this is back in uh, 1993. Carl Lewis, he could barely get through that thing before his voice just left his throat. His voice said, fuck this. I'm not, hey man, you on your own. Just cracked. Uh -oh. He cracked. He cracked the national anthem, broke it. It's so gallant. Please stream 
Kidnapped in the middle of the national anthem. The Rockets, what? It was off to a good start. What went no, wrong? No, <laughs> I think somebody lit his ass on fire. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> somebody came up and pinched his ass. Like, oh, like- <laughs> Mom, stop! Keep through, through the night. Yikes. That a black was still there. At this point, people just like, man, get the fuck off. <laughs> you know, you see, they just booing him. Uh, you, you, a lot of people will give you, because they want to pay respect to the song, they will let you slide a little bit. When people start booing you at the national anthem, you have really messed up. I'll make up for it now. He stopped. Sit down. <laughs> I like the way he called himself. He like he starts to run and he thought he could jump across that cliff and he just stopped. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not again. Stop, stop, stop. Yo, did, nope. did he say he said he's gonna make up for it now? <laughs> did he yeah, just but... stop and say I'm gonna make up for it now? Did he say yeah. that? Yeah. Brother, there, there, there is no forgiveness for what you just did. <laughs> there is no coming back from that Listen, dark you place. Walk, you walk away at that point. It's done. You walk away. At least he finished, though. For the land of the free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a smart man. He knew he couldn't do it. Lad, he was, he was, man, he had aspirations. He's like, fuck it, no. <laughs> land of the free. <laughs> I love how he thought about it. He was like, I'm going to show him to kill it. He's like, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to try. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he got to that cliff edge. He's about to oh, leave, but he's like, man. shit, <laughs> I ain't going to make it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's too far. Oh, that is one of the worst. Ooh, he's a runner, man. not a singer. Oh, run. Man, he should have ran, ran from that yeah. song. <laughs> run, Negro, run. Far away. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> 1998, Roseanne Barr. Oh, Lord. Look, again, why? People people can barely hear Roseanne talk. Hi, I'm Roseanne Barr. They people don't even want to hear her. People don't want to hear her open her mouth at all, much less to sing. So why she got there to sing the national anthem, I don't understand. Seriously? Yeah, she was at a baseball game, and, and she said that I... I didn't hit the right note from the very beginning, so I decided to make it a joke. Well, maybe because you're not a fucking singer. They're booing. Yeah, they're booing hard. God. Why? Did they think that was a good idea? She, Because she messed up and was there, and she decided, well, I'm already in here. I can't leave. I'm being booed. I guess... People know me as a comedian, so I'll just try to make something funny out of it. But again, it's the national anthem. You don't make something funny out of it. I re- Who has ever thought Roseanne and singing should ever be anything that's together? I wonder if it that's was a, like... That's a horrible sentence. That, yeah. <laughs> and singing, that's a horrible sentence. The thing is, that's what Roseanne sounds like when she's talking. No, oh, Jesus. Take your batteries out. (laughs) We can barely hear, we can barely stand Roseanne talking. Why we want to hear her singing? Whose idea was that? (laughs) Imagine her ordering at a (laughs) (laughs) drive-thru. I don't have a large Whopper and some fries. (laughs) (laughs) Get get the fuck out of here. Get whatever she wants. (laughs) Yeah, man, that's... uh, I, I, I don't know, man. Somebody must have just died right before the National Anthem, but, but, and they had to bring her on. It had to have been, like, to promote a show or a movie or something she had going you on. You don't know. You don't bring on to promote something for the National Anthem. Just to add, yeah. I don't know, awareness. 
Awareness well, to what? How she can fuck up a song? I mean, I, get, I don't. She was kind of like a big actress back then. Maybe she was just relevant, and they had a show they were about to air and wanted ratings, and then they decided. I don't know. I'm just. I'm trying to make sense of it all, Coleman. I don't know. That's where you first fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see how you have tears streaming for your eyes? Know, and you're right? trying to like, make, try, trying to stop, rationalize this. She's like, I'm just trying to make sense of all this. There is no sense <laughs> to make it. It's wrong. I don't know that she's not a singer. Why is she doing this? I don't get it. Uh, now, <laughs> these people aren't singers. Nope. So, yeah, I mean, they shouldn't be up there anyway, but you can at least give them that excuse. You can't sing. What happens when singers come up and they actually, and they're known for being great, and they mess up the national anthem? The, 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 uh, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Yes. Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., man. Show me the money himself. Yeah, his dad is a singer. Yes. Yeah, his dad is a Cuba Gooding <laughs> Sr. He got out there and he can be, look, again, unique though. He's probably giving the most, the most dramatic rendition of, uh, of the national anthem. Damn, do I have him? Do I even have him up here? Oh, there he is. Cuba Gooding Sr. There like, you go. I like, I like the way he's. I like the way he's on the court and his teeth up in the stadium. Up oh. <laughs> up in the chairs. Be nice. <laughs> oh, the land and of the free. The <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> What you say, oh, oh. Uh, they be Killing that ending song so <laughs> much, man. It is ridiculous. I don't know how many times this poor song can catch it. Man, so many band-aids, so many bruises on this song. <laughs> I, have, I, I have never felt so... I feel sorry for this song like I do for a person, man. This song, yeah. this song has just like been a, abused. It's like, yeah, it's like a batted person. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, I love this at the end where somebody just came up and just twisted that dick around. And of the free... <laughs> <laughs> you went for it, that's for sure. Somebody trying to get him shut up, just grab him by his dick, shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's been some people who actually made uh, the national anthem, uh, good, like good versions of them, and still managed to piss people off. R. Kelly came out and added, he said, man, I'm going to put a beat to it. And most of the people were kind of with it. And the whole Except for Oscar De La Hoya in this stunned white man in the background. <laughs> <laughs> this man is back to like, oh my God. This man has not shut his mouth through the whole thing. <laughs> but notice every black person is like, yeah. Dancing in the ring. Oh my gosh. Oh, Y'all see that shit? <laughs> Come on, clap your hands. I, I don't hate Mark Kelly for this. I love it. Did y'all see that one dude in the background? He was he was trying to keep up with the beat. Like, there's <laughs> one dude behind him. It's confusing for white people. Yeah. Right? <laughs> look, look at this one dude back here. <laughs> He's like steady now. It's over, it's overstimulated. <laughs> What's that, Oz? No, you back there swatting flies, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got one. <laughs> like, you know them, people, them old people, when they swat gnats, they just stand still. <laughs> got him. <laughs> anyway. He is uh, nuts, but you got to love him. Aretha Franklin. Uh, Aretha, you know, she going to bring it, but the thing is, like, the national anthem is, like, about two minutes long. She went, like, four and a half minutes. <laughs> she like, Damn, she said, y'all going to sit down for this. She, she got a coat on. She's like, yeah, we're going to be a while. Yeah. <laughs> and she's sitting down, too. So yeah. you know <laughs> like, for, you're like, for example, man, this, uh, like the guy on the other uh, organ over there, that guy was 30 when they started. <laughs> <laughs> Which is bitch, Ariel. <laughs> I gotta, he's like, I got to pee. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing a pee dance. She's stretching every Getting note. Get through it. Damn. 
Y'all don't think you're hearing that in music. Think about how that would be if I was just to t- t- talk to somebody. Hey, Dad. It'd be so annoying. <laughs> yeah. No. You think we late right now? <laughs> we getting ready no. to start. Be like, Eat it up, Coleman. Let's go. Dad. Hold on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Another singer, Michael Bolton. Michael Bolton, actually, he was doing his, and he, he knew he was going to mess up, so he wrote the lyrics on his hand. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> He's cheating, man. He wrote, he wrote the notes on his hand. <laughs> He like, yeah, nobody saw this. <laughs> smooth. Yeah, <laughs> real smooth. Smooth. <laughs> uh, I like the folks who get out there and cannot uh, and cannot remember the words. That's so the they they just they just make up. They just make up the words. Oh yeah. You got Those, to. What's that? You got to. Yeah, I mean. It's funny how you think you don't know the, the words to the national anthem until you hear somebody else fuck them up. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait a minute. That's not it. This is a, a guy named a police officer, Ezra Harris, at a 2006 memorial service. He just said, f- he went complete fucking mode. And <laughs> he just started making up like nursery rhymes. At the last gleaming road track, we what he said? He said, "Hella Twilight and the rabbits were dreaming." <laughs> <laughs> that brother turned the Dr. Seuss in the middle of the He didn't even try. No, <laughs> no, he oh, did not. Man. Gay through the night. <laughs> He didn't even try with words. He needed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went full buckwheat mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he went to the chorus of the song, and there is no chorus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That> bro- <laughs> brother just turned into a barn animal. <laughs> he literally has never heard the wood song ever. He just and trying to so- do it. And somehow somebody said. You'd be perfect for the national anthem. <laughs> He's like, I know there's a brave in there somewhere. <laughs> that brave usually gets messed up, but it, the brave got out okay this time. <laughs> that, was the, that was the only word that was safe throughout that whole barrage. <laughs> That's the only uh, that's the that's the only word that that brother knew. He's like that's the only word I'm gonna say is strong, brave. That's the only word to survive. <laughs> Live to tell the others about me. Caroline Marcel. What's funny about her is that every now and then your singing your singing is so bad that life will tell you no. <laughs> life will tell you to sit your ass down. This woman knew she was messing up. And actually had the right idea, tried to leave. <laughs> Retreat! <laughs> go. Now the people booed her, so I guess they said, no, nah, you come out here and finish this shit. You committed to it. So she tries to do the patriotic thing and come out and do her duty as an American citizen and finish the song. And life said, oh no, my God. <laughs> sit your ass down. <laughs> I wouldn't have kept going. <laughs> no, it was, that, that's, it, it's not meant to be. It gave <laughs> yeah. life, life said, I gave you a warning. Oh, you yeah. want to come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> life <laughs> finds a way, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, wow. what do you do? Bless her heart. Uh, I'm really done. That is so embarrassing. Wow. Wow. I actually feel bad for that one right there. I don't yeah. know how I would have bounced back. You don't. <laughs> no, and she was never seen again. Never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> this last one is my favorite because mm. this, is, this, is, this, is, this is Mr. Cool. A guy that I thought could never do any wrong. And a guy that actually has a singing career. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm sure a lot of people remember this. A lot of people, when I bring it up, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about Mr. Jamie Foxx. How could he fuck it up? Somehow oh. he did, because everybody came out like, oh, shit, Jamie? Oh, Jamie going, man, Jamie going to do it up. And Jamie did. <laughs> <laughs> when was this? In the, in, in the most say, fucked up way. What's that? They were saying he's going to be the next Whitney Houston. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody thought Jamie, he's going to come out here. Jamie going to kill it, man. Jamie, Jamie too cool. Got an Oscar, a singing career, comedian. I mean, Jamie, is, Jamie does everything. God can do no wrong. Except when it comes to the National Anthem. And the home of the... <laughs> I like how his bottom jaw Man, is just, he had a, he had <laughs> That a bottom start. jaw is just like 10 feet ahead of him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody pushing down some steps. <laughs> <laughs> they can't, like I said, they can't, can't let that brave go. Let it go. They can't, can't let, let it, it go. go. And, you know, and, and his thing was he tried to come in and, and gospel it up way too much. He got that like, yeah, fucked up. (laughs) Not my best performance. (laughs) He he like, well, not doing that no more. (laughs) Yeah, there you go, people. Some of our favorite renditions of the national anthem. And not in the best way. (laughs) For better better or worse. (laughs) How about worse? Much, much. Oh, <laughs> uh, so y'all lay off of Fergie a little bit. She did a she hey, you know, she did some dirt. She apologized for it. And so, you know, there's 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 been a lot worse others out there. At least she knew the words. She held some notes. She didn't fall. She didn't fall. <laughs> she didn't like, uh, somebody, you know, life didn't come and kicking her ass and knock her on her ass. You know, it's it it could it could have been a lot worse.